Hi everyone. Um, so I wanted to discuss a topic that was brought up to me the, the other day, and that is on your personality during a chronic illness. I've done a video on this briefly, but I just want to ki kind of reassure people that when you get to the other side of this, that it won't be a problem for you. Um, obviously, you have to work around recovering from being secluded for such a long time, depending on what kind of situation you've been in, but. You know, I think it's completely normal to have a flat personality during recovery. You know, you don't have the energy to do normal things. Why would you feel normal in your personality? You know, the guy I was emailing, he described himself as a mute. And I'm sure I've described myself as that. Like, it was just like I had a clamp on my mouth where it was very difficult to even bother talking. And he, he, he describes he's, he's just getting complete apathy for things, he's not enjoying things, he's feeling no emotion either side, just complete anhedonia. And I've experienced this, I've done a few videos on that as well. And I really do believe that the m biggest solution you can do towards solving a problem of anhedonia is looking at what is what is it in the human brain that sparks our interest in things and it's things like dopamine so if you're having years of abuse like many children are growing up now where we are put in front of these screens that is something very new you know if you go back even 50 years children wouldn't be growing up with them in the grand scheme of things that's a very small amount of time so we're put in front of these screens and it's constant bombardment of new stimulation at the click of a button and our dopamine receptors aren't evolved to deal with this kind of thing. So we're clicking away, we're doing, you know, we're eating highly stimulating foods and sugars and, you know, sweeteners and we're on these computer games all the time and just constant stimulation. I won't go too much into that, Just, I'll just, it's too much stimulation for the body over long periods of time. So everyday things like taking a walk just don't seem as rewarding. So what I'm going to get down, what I'm getting down to is the fact that how I solved my anhedonia problem was I cut this excess and highly stimulating things out of my life. Uh, anything to do with technology really was a massive one. And was patient and I waited and I treated my body with respect, got healthy, eat, eating well, sleeping well, letting my body regenerate, not stimulating it too much. And over time, I, it's like my brain become more sensitive to the everyday pleasures. And it's got to the point where I'm quite content, you know, just reading a book, you know. And I really, and there was at one point where even a highly stimulating game was just nothing for me anymore. So I think that when it comes to anhedonia, depression, um, any, any kind of these problems with your personality, I really do believe that it's good to take a step back, make things more uh, simple and return to basics. And giving it time and patience because I don't believe there's another way around it. But yeah, uh, I definitely had massive problems with my personality during recovery and it got to the point where I just didn't speak to anyone because my personality was flat, I didn't want to interact with anyone and I got no pleasure from anything, it was a horrible experience, I can completely relate to what you're going through. But yeah, it, it does take time and it does take a lot of patience but sadly there's no other way around it from what I've, you know, gathered. I, I um... I, I would try and do short term fixes like taking certain supplements to see if it boosts my serotonin and all this lot. But at the end of the day, you don't need that to become a normal human being again. It would be pretty sad if it was. Um, but yeah, it is, it is sad. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to babble on too long. But just know that. Your personality is something that will come back with time. You know, if if I if you woke up tomorrow morning and you had huge amounts of energy, would you feel like you know? If you heal your body and you have the energy to do what you need to do, it's gonna have an impact on your uh, your personality in a positive way. And 
I really do believe that we're in a time where we don't know the full extent of the damage done by technology at this point. But yeah, that's my point of view on the personality and anhedonia thing. Um, sorry if this video is a bit muddly. I'm just trying to get back into a routine of speaking to the camera. But yeah, if there's any kind of video you want me to speak about, put it in the comment section below and I'll try and get around to making that. Okay, thank you.